So you've clicked on here because of the title and you're wondering what Kokata Dax is, known as the Black Dax Hair Grease. Stick around for this review and I'm gonna show you today. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you don't know me, if you do know me, welcome back. Today I'm doing the long awaited review of the Dax hair grease that is Kokata, i.e., the Black Dax. But before I jump onto that, guys, I just got a quick little thing to say to you. So, previously I've done a video showing you my nails from Madam Glam. Madam Glam have been so kind to send me some more colours, autumnal, cozy colours. I have here with me today, if you can see that, Saturday Love, the Inventor. Oh, this is my favourite one. This one, which I have actually got on now. Hollow Party, so hologram nail varnish, and this is a nice silver color. And last but not least, Coffee Talk. There you go, and I also have that one right here. These are the results of my nails. Super nice, super shiny, perfect for me is because using hair grease, using hair products, always putting my hands in my hair. My nail varnish does not scratch off, guys. And Madam Glam are giving you a discount if you use the code Miss Lauren30. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box and the special link that you can click on that gives you that discount. All right, guys, so let's just jump right into this video. Okay, so what is Black Dax? Not to be confused with the Black Beeswax Dax, which I picked up without reading the label because I thought there was only one Black Dax. However, there isn't. It doesn't smell like the Kokotar one. It's nothing to do with the Kokotar one. But here we go, two Kokotars. Right, so you might notice that the label is different on the, well, or neither one <laughs> and that is because this one says extra dry scalp relief and it's Kokotar plus this one is just Kokotar the Kokotar in general as I said guys has a very distinctive smell I recall I said it smelled like it smells like bacon which it does I found out what that yummy smell is and the ingredients that gives us that lovely delicious smell is camphor Yes, guys, if you are familiar with camphor, in fact, you know what, I'm gonna, let's just say you're not familiar with camphor. Are you familiar with mothballs? Yeah, same ingredients. Now, this is where you might think I should end the video because why would you wanna put something in your hair that is actually an ingredient in mothballs? However, I have been doing my research and camphor is a product that is used to get rid of dry scalp and relieve itchiness and it's antibacterial. So, let me just quickly read to you something I have found on the internet. Camphor is readily absorbed by the skin. It creates a cool sensation. It is an easily available ingredient that is said to provide many benefits, such as reducing itching and irritation, strengthening hair roots, boosting hair growth, and improving blood circulation. There are two types of camphor. You have natural and you have synthetic. So the natural camphor comes from the sap of the evergreen tree, the camphor laurel. It doesn't actually say on the smaller tin, which it does on the bigger tin, that it contains camphor. So I'm wondering if this one actually contains camphor or if it just contains tar. I'm not sure. However, the smaller jar has a stronger smelling scent. This one, not so much. This one. Right, so let's have a look at these. Very, very strong taste i mean smell <laughs> now the bigger jar not so much this smells actually more like this one reminds me more of the green dax they both look the same the reason why i actually went and got the smaller one is because i thought this might have been a batch that did not have any scent however i have not gone and got another big jar of the coca one so i don't know if it was just this jar or if it's because it's a specific type of I have got some information here, which I did my research. I went onto the Dax website and I looked at the Black Dax in particular, and I'm just gonna read to you what they state the benefits are. So it says it contains exotic coconut oil and it claims to be extremely effective for dry scalp, dandruff and itching. Coconut oil, in fact, for me personally, it does the opposite. It actually causes irritation on my scalp. However, I haven't had any adverse effects with these hair greases or any hair grease that contains coconut oil, to be honest. All right, it says it helps reduce hair breakage and split ends. Now, when it comes to split ends, for me, I feel that it's just a claim of any hair product. I don't necessarily think it can eliminate. In fact, it doesn't claim to do, it says it can reduce them. I'm very skeptical hippo when it comes to products that state they can repair or eliminate split ends. My way, 
of dealing with split ends is to snip, keep your hair moisturized and seal. So if that's what they mean by reducing split ends, then yeah, hair grease seals it. It's a done deal. All right. <laughs> okay, so let me just quickly read you the ingredients on both of these. So for the smaller one, which is a stronger smelling one, the first ingredient is petrolatum, coconut oil, then you've got fragrance. And that's another thing that's a bit worrying to me. It just says fragrance. It doesn't state what the fragrances are, hence it doesn't state the full ingredients. Some products that are too perfumey don't work well with me. So I haven't had any adverse reaction on these guys, actually. Okay, so the bigger jar says again, petroleum, coconut oil, camphor. So this one actually states it contains camphor, it says menthol and fragrance again. And it does also say fortified with coconut oil, camphor and menthol. This doesn't smell or feel actually when I put it on my scalp that it contains the camphor or menthol because there's no tingling, there's no, you know. Yeah, so it says essence of tart oil. See, I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> I've just seen that now. It says enhanced. No, it doesn't even say enhanced. It says enriched with coconut oil and essence of tart oil. It must just be the tart that smells like that. The tart is yummy, yes. So for this small jar, I paid £2.89. I think it's a fair price. And for the bigger jar, which is an amazing price, £4.49. And the reason why I say it's an amazing price is because this is quite a large jar. It's not like you're putting hair gel on your hair and smothering it all down your strands. So this is what I'm going to get onto next. The way you apply the hair, or the way I apply the hair grease. So as you can see, guys, I've got my hair in extensions. Just to give my hair a break. I'm still on my growth journey. I've got nice amount of length. I've got a nice amount of growth and that is due to length retention. Unless you have a medical condition, hair generally tends to grow. What stops your hair from getting longer, waist length, what have you, is length retention. If you wear your hair out for the majority of the time and your hair is rubbing against your shoulders, that length is not retaining because it is rubbing on your shoulders, rubbing on fabrics that may tend to weaken and then eventually break the hair. Hence why I have my hair up and hence why I do my protective styles nowadays. Oh, that's another thing I was going to say. I mentioned it in my last video. The name Kokata. I thought it was a type of product not unique to Dax. I just thought it was just the name of something that was in the hair grease. I figured out uh, by Googling and only this product coming up, Dax, and it's coca tar, as in coconut oil and tar. As I mentioned in my last video, guys, when you do put it on your hair, the smell does go. Anyway, guys, I think I covered everything. I'm not sure if I did leave anything out. Don't forget to leave your comments down below in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.